What's up today guys? Welcome back to the channel. It's that time of the year again. Clash Oween is back in Clash of Clans. We got some sweet obstacles, some cool challenges, even the Royal Ghost back in the game. And then obviously they gave us a new scenery as well, which you have to purchase. But it's definitely cool just to have a fresh looking base with the different color theme and everything. The Halloween theme is just awesome in Clash of Clans. So today's video we're going to cover the Graveyard Challenge and show you guys how to easily 3 star this challenge. That way you can just get the rewards and get past this challenge. This is definitely the hardest one they have put in Clash of Clans so far on any of these challenges that they've done. It definitely takes multiple tries, but once you get the strategy down, you could just easily three-star this base and get it knocked out very quickly. So if you guys like today's video, smash that like button for me. If you guys aren't subscribed to Chillian, please subscribe to the channel. Turn on those notification bells so you know when these videos are coming. We'll get right into the action. Alright, just wanted to show you guys the scenery really quickly. So this is the pumpkin graveyard scenery. Um... It, it's actually pretty cool. We got this giant pumpkin over here in the corner with the waterfall that is Halloween colors. And we got the fog throughout the whole thing, you know, with pumpkins and skeletons and just kind of like a spooky, you know, Halloween feel uh, throughout the whole thing. And even a ghost ship uh, next to the builder base ship. And it, it's just a cool feel, over, you know, overall. We got the witches with the, you know, the cauldrons over there. And then we got the new obstacles that are pretty cool. You know, the kind of the normal ones, the mushroom um, and the bush with the pumpkins. Uh, the newest one is this plant down here that actually comes alive, the friendly flower when you when you click on it. And it gives you, I think, 75,000 elixir if you do want to remove it. But it's a pretty cool thing to have on top of the, ba you know, in the base as uh, a special obstacle. So this is the challenge. Um... A couple things to go over really quickly. The clan castle has some heavy hitting troops in it, including a couple super witches, which are the big boy skeletons coming out of there. And it's a kind of a hard clan castle to get through, especially because we don't have a poison. So we got to keep that in mind. Um, all these tombstones that you guys see, these are all actually skeleton traps um, throughout the entire base. And then once we get up to this part of the base, we actually have um, these little tombstones with the hands. And these are actually the royal ghost coming out of there. And they stay invisible for 12 seconds. So they can really destroy some of your troops. And our troops can't attack them right away. Um, so a little thing we're going to do at the very beginning of the attack is pull them out um, with three barbarians. Which are the little pumpkin, the pumpkin barbarians. And get them pulled out. That way we can basically expire the 12 seconds because we have five minutes to hit this and there's really not any crazy defenses but there is an entire ring of teslas around this compartment of the base so that's a kind of a problem to get through as well but we'll kind of just get right into the attack it all kind of flows pretty well um we're basically going to use the barbarians to pull some of the traps and then use valkyries we got three of them to uh, get through all of these skeleton traps and push into that part of the base to get that elixir storage. We're going to use the Royal Champion and the Super Bowler just to pick up some defenses on this other side. And then we're just going to push him with the uh, whatever barbarians we have left and the other three heroes. Use these invisibility spells where we need to and then heal up the main army. And that is a big key once we get into this push as you guys will see. So right away, we're going to start with a couple barbarians over here just to pull these royal ghosts and get them all out here. And we're just going to let that 12 seconds expire, make these things visible, and that way we don't have to worry about them destroying. We're going to drop a couple barbarians down here just to find some spring traps so we don't have to worry about it, and also pull some more skeletons. But we're going to drop a couple more along this outer edge just to kind of pull everything together. And then we're going to drop few more one Valkyrie Valkyrie is going to go through and destroy all of these very very quickly then we're going to drop the Royal Champion down here on top of this Expo Super Bowler on top of the mortars and uh, Valkyries are going to push in and go for this get rid of the rest of these skellies and also go for that elixir storage so at this point we're going to kind of let the RC 
do her thing, get up on top uh, of that bomb tower, which right now, as soon as we take down this bomb tower, we're actually going to use her ability. Uh, actually, as soon as we take down this builder hut, we're going to use her ability. And then this next part of the attack is going to start. Make sure you got a ground warden on. We're going to get all of these barbarians going. Queen up towards the right, just a tad. And they're going to push through. We're going to pop that king ability. And then warden ability. Now if the super bowler actually gets this town hall activated, which he didn't. We would have actually used the uh, invisibilities on the RC. But we didn't actually get the town hall activated in time. So now we're actually going to use these invisibilities on the RC. Make sure we take down this town hall. And then we don't have to worry about it at all. And then basically the last thing we have to worry about is that multi-target Inferno at the top. So I got some Barbarians running around. Got the Queen with her ability. Got the Barbarian King still. That Town Hall Poison is going to be expired. We're not going to have to worry about it. This army camp we actually don't attack. It's just there to look at. Um, it's not actually an army camp that we have to destroy. So very interesting. But we're just going to let this... Let the queen kind of do her thing. This is definitely not an easy challenge. Uh, there's still going to be more traps as we push into the rest of this base. Um, but I found the most success finishing on the um, multi-target inferno at the top of the base. Uh, I haven't found a ton of success attacking really any other way. Uh, attacked a couple times and really the, the best way to do it is to finish on that multi-target inferno up at the top of the base but you definitely want to pull those royal ghosts first otherwise you're not going to be successful um, that's going to do it for today's video guys hopefully this gives you guys a way to three star this very easily um, and helps you guys just get these rewards and i'll show you guys we'll get these rewards and then, obviously, if you guys like today's video, smash that like button for me. If you guys missed yesterday's video or the day before, we had another Legends League uh, showcase. And then, obviously, we guys we dropped off a base again for you guys for Legends League if you guys want to use that. It's been very successful for me, allowing about one, uh, getting one one star a day, which is, which is great in Legends League. Especially at the 5400, 5500 range, as you can see, I'm at currently. Um, we'll catch you next time.